Freddie Forrest, who I looked like a little bit then. And uh, I dressed in my tightest green Levi's and my best old combat boots and uh, an army surplus uh, arm shirt with the sleeves rolled up. And I'm like, you know, 5'10", and in the prime of my life then with blonde curls going down my back. This is pre willy and, uh, and I walk in, you know, with my, my swimming muscles for the surfer, and I'm too old. And then I'm too young for the Freddie Forrest role of the cook. And I'm, I'm broken hearted. And they look at me, and they, they're, they're walking around me, and they send me across the hall to be looked at for, for hand solo. <laughs> but I, again, I was too young. I didn't look old enough to be a big brother to Mark at that time. We were too close, because I looked very, very young back then. And uh, that's the story. I came home, Mark Hamill had a cold Heineken for me, and he's laying on my couch, uh, and, and he's watching Mary Tyler Moore reruns. <laughs> and I told him about all this, and Mark had, Mark had also been, he hadn't had his call back yet, but we talked about it. I mean, it was just that close. It was just that moment of time when you all shared that stuff. I think we played Monopoly that night with Melanie Mayron from 30-something, you know, it was just like a real, you know, it was just, that's, it, would, it was a lot easier, this is an unfortunate thing, and I know there's people out here that are prop people, and effects people, and makeup people, and I know there's probably a couple of screenwriters out here, you guys, but here's the thing, it was a lot easier to be poor when my generation was young and struggling in L.A. It's harder for you guys, but you also guys have better access to information and to software and to communication than we did. You know, you know, it was much harder for us to get through a door than it is for you. So that's, it kind of balances out, you know, but it just means you guys can't eat. <laughs> Let's do Q and A.